MVP is what we should be talking about for this girl. MVP. What do we got to say, guys? What does anybody got to say about this shit? Nothing. I don't want to hear any more of that chatter. The disrespect. All y'all eat y'all damn words. Every one of y'all. Cheryl Swoops. Don Staley. Gino. However you say your damn name. Cheryl Reeves. Coach Sides. Your own damn coach. Everybody. Dinosaur Tarasi. Sue Bird. Anybody else who had negative shit to say about this girl. Kennedy yourself. What does she do besides shoot three-pointers? Well, her ass is breaking the cis record. She's doing that shit. And her team is winning right now. So she's doing a hell of a lot more than you are, Kennedy. Yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the sexy body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays Reaction Videos for that girl who Kaylin Clark. We back in the building, guys. Guess what? We back. The WNBA is back. Who would have thought that we would have been anticipating saying that shit? Who would have ever thought that we would have been anticipating the WNBA coming back on? I didn't even know when the WNBA was on half the damn time. I didn't. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what time the games come on. None of that. But guess what? I can now because there is somebody who is phenomenal. Phenomenal and breaking record after record after record every time she touched the damn court. Kaylin Clark. Kaylin Clark. That's what we're here for. Three cheers for her. Shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. That's how she feel. That's how she probably feel. All that's for you, Caitlin. All that's for you to come in here and do what you have done in the WNBA right now. And I know there are so many people that have came before her. But listen, this is what I'm seeing right now with my eyes because I came over to follow her. The person who is breaking record after record every time she touched the damn court. So tell me this. Who came before her? Who was better before her? Because all these records belong to them and now they belong to her ass. I believe it was Sue Bird, right? Sue Bird, the legend that everybody talk about. You're putting Caitlin Clark's name in the same breath as hers. This woman has exceeded every expectation that y'all didn't have for her. Y'all talk so much shit about her. How this is going to be a rude awakening, reality checks, and all this other bullshit. And look what's happening right now. Here's a reality check. She writing y'all ass a check. She writing y'all a check that her ass can cash. Y'all couldn't do the same. Y'all could. Y'all checks is bouncing. Dinosaur Tarasi, all the shit that y'all said. Gino, uh, uh, who who's it? The Chelsea, what the hell's the name? Lady Chelsea Rivas, Don Staley, all of Cheryl Swoops, all them comments that y'all made. Y'all look stupid right now. They have come off the Olympic break and they are on a two game winning streak against four Olympians. The Mercury had three. The Seattle Storm had one. And they went in there and they put an ass whooping on Mercury. They had the Mercury down by 28 points. Now, experience, right, is what brought those girls back in that game. That's what brought them back. I heard a lot of people saying that the Fever got tired in the second half. No, they didn't. They took their fit off the pedal. They didn't do the Bill Belichick rule. The Bill Belichick rule is whoop their ass and keep whooping their ass until the game is over. You have to strike fear into your opponent's heart when they play without you. This is what it means to be a competitor. You have to strike fear in their heart so every time they know they're going to get ready to play, you're going to get their asses whooped. Y'all trying to find a way to win. Y'all scratching and clawing. That's what we want y'all to know when y'all play against us. Y'all going to have to give y'all best because we whooping asses. 28 points they had them down by. But the experience from all those players, remember they got three Olympians on their team. If you go look at the stats, the three Olympians are who pretty much brought them back into the game. Uh, Copper had like 30 points, 30 plus points. So what's going to happen? You saw Diana Sarasi out there knocking down three pointers. She, st she still can hoop, guys. She still can hoop. And you still got Brandon Ground who's nine feet tall. You can't stop that man. Anyway, that's what you had to go up against. You had them down by 28 points and you didn't keep your foot on their neck. You let them breathe. Don't let them breathe. I, I need suffocation. Suffocate they ass. Because y'all could have did the same thing that y'all did to Seattle against them and blasted their ass by like 30, 40 points. Don't be afraid to whoop ass out there. The Liberty not. The Liberty came back on their first game and won by 30. What are we talking about? The Mercury first game back, they won by 20. Go out there and establish dominance. They almost beat the Storm by 20 points, guys. The, the, listen, they almost beat the Storm by 20 points. The same team that the last time they played, Jewel Lloyd scored 34 points. This team only had 34 points at the half. 
The last time they played, they had 53. The FIBA locked their ass down on defense. Lock they ass down. Silly shit's out the window now. You know what I'm saying? Before, everything that we talked about when it had to deal with Kaden had to be drama. It was all drama. How everybody don't like her. All the hate, all the dumb shit. We ain't talking about that no more. What we talking about is that this girl is out there dominating right now. Her team is winning. And why are they winning? Because she's dominating. What the hell are you talking about a rookie of the year race? What you talking about? This team won 13 games last year. They got 13 games won right now. That means that Caitlin Clark is coming that mug and she has had the impact for them to win more than they total, uh, I mean, tied up with a total from last year. And they got 12 more games left. I think this team can, can get, what, what are they at, 13 right now? I think they can get 20 wins. I, I truly think they, they, they can get 20 wins. They can get seven out of these last 12 they're playing right now. And then we can start talking about Kaylin Clark in another race. And not this so-called rookie race that they that they believe is happening right now. Because I even had a commenter say that he believes that Angel is still winning the rookie race right now. And I'm like, how in the hell is this possible? How did you even, in your mind, in your right mind, if you if your mind is right, for you to say that with your mouth, for them words to come out of your shits, how did that happen? Because you gave me some educated answer why you feel like Angel is the better player with all these uh, percentage shits and all this, this uh, what's it, uh, 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 efficiency? Per, I don't even fucking know. The shit that you told me is bullshit. When I can look at the stats right now, ain't that what we look at when you try to pick the damn MVPs and the rookie of the years, all them shits, who was the impact, the better impact for their team? Monica McNutt said that shit. Monica McNutt said whoever is impacting their team better, whoever has the better record, right? That's what Monica said. Monica did a bitch move. She uh, That's a cop-out move. I ain't calling you no bitch, Monica. I'm sorry. Everybody don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. I didn't call her one. I, I said that's a bitch move, right? I'm, I'm sorry for cursing, too. I ain't going to curse no more. That's going to be my last one. I think. Anyway, the, that, that, yeah, that move you made, because no matter what, you won't be wrong. You see what I'm saying? She made a, 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 a take that no matter what happens, she will not be wrong because you can't go by stats in her mindset. You have to go by who's the better impact on that team, i.e. who's going to have the better record at the end of the year. As it's going right now, it looks like it's going to be the fever because Chicago is going backwards. And before they was going backwards, if you looked at where they were last year and where they are right now, they were better. So what does that tell you about the impact on the team? You do understand that this girl right now, right now, right? Over the, these last, what, three games that they didn't play before the break? I think she's averaging like about 24. If you just take these two games right now, when she dropped 29 and 23, right? What's that average? About 25. She's averaging 10 assists over these last two games. Well, we say nine and a half because she got nine in this last game. She got 10 in the one before that. Seven rebounds, two steals. This girl is playing efficient basketball. If you want to talk all that, that numbers shit, if you want to go that route, her team is way better. Did you see the defense that they displayed against Seattle? Come on. Come on. ESPN got them ranked number five in the WNBA. Number five, but they rank seventh in the WNBA in standings. So what does that tell you? They're the fifth best team in everybody's eyes right now who's voting for this ESPN. Hell, they're the fifth best as far as like going into the second half because they didn't beat all the teams at the top except for the Liberty, the Ace. Oh, no, no, no. Take that back. They beat the Liberty, remember? They haven't beat the Aces yet and the Connecticut Sun. If they could beat the Aces and Connecticut Sun, guess what, guys? This team can beat any team in the WNBA. I said it. Anybody who's going against these comments that I'm making right now, these takes, is hating because they some shit. So I'm talking about the best for these takes. Another one. Drop these blasts for these takes. This is what's up right now. I ain't talking about this girl no more for no damn rookie of the year. That ain't no damn race. Are you kidding me? There's nothing that Angel brings to the table other than rebounding. Nothing else. Kaylin Clark needs to be considered for 
MVP. When you start talking about this girl, when you talk about Asia for the MVP, because I don't know nobody else that you could talk about for MVP when you talk about getting it but Asia. But it doesn't make any sense, right? Because they ain't even got the best team in the WNBA. They got four Olympians over there and they ain't the best in the WNBA. The Liberty are, who only lost four games. So should we be talking about uh, Stewie? She should be up for uh, talks about the, the, the MVP. Y'all act like that's the only person. Like Asia's the only person. And I, I kind of feel like that because that's the, that's the, the face that y'all want to put out there. Y'all believe that this shit was getting good two years ago. It was, but not at the clip that it is right now. Not, at, not what it is right now. Y'all know what would have happened if Caitlyn would have went to the Olympics. Y'all see what's happening since she's been back. Back-to-back -back sold out games. And we ain't talking about no 9,000 fans. We're talking about 17 to 20,000 plus fans come to these stadiums to watch this girl play. This girl goes to somebody else's stadium and they got more fans there cheering for her than they are for the home team. She is the home team. Any game for us a home game. Every game that I've watched this girl play has playoff atmosphere. She going to be ready by the time this shit starts. And the team is getting better. They already knocked off one of the teams that they needed to that was above them. That was a, had an over 500 record in the storm. They beat the Lynx already. They beat the Mercury. They swept their ass. They swept them. They beat the Liberty before the break. They beat the best teams. You cannot knock this because you know what people are going to say after they, after they win? This is what they're going to say after they, they win and they, they keep on winning at a high clip. They're going to be like, well, they should be winning. They got three All-Stars over there because that's the talk right now for, for Angel ass. The talk right now is that Kaylin's not better than Angel. Kaylin just has a better team than Angels. That's the talk right now. So remember what I said about Monica McNutt saying that, oh, you can, you can establish who's the best by who's the better impact on their team? I guess that shit just got thrown out the window because now they're trying to say that the Chicago Sky team has diminished and Angel still putting up them stats over there, so she has to be the rookie of the year. How? Them stats that you're putting up are not equating to wins. You got your asses whooped by 18 against the Mercury yesterday night. But two games before that, you got whooped by 20. This is, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. Would you think you're going to get that shit? Hell no. Hell no. Because the Fever right now has the better team and the better player. Period. Period. They don't want to play with you anyway, god dang it, for what I can see. Even Kennedy don't want to play with you. And Kennedy is a head case of her damn self. And Kennedy can hoop. So you mean to tell me y'all can't get it done? Y'all can't get close to these women? Y'all can't sniff them? Can't even bite them? Pinch them? Something? Y'all out there getting your asses whooped. There ain't no way. MVP is what we should be talking about for this girl. MVP. 25, 7, and 9 is what she's averaging right now. Coming back. Against the Mercury and the Seattle Storm. Two teams that are ranked above them. What do we got to say, guys? What does anybody got to say about this shit? Nothing. I don't want to hear any more of that chatter. The disrespect. All y'all eat y'all damn words. Every one of y'all. Cheryl Swoops. Don Staley. Gino. However you say your damn name. Cheryl Reeves. Coach Side, Your own damn coach. Everybody, Dinosaur Tarasi, Sue Bird, anybody else who had negative shit to say about this girl, Kennedy yourself, what does she do besides shoot three-pointers? Well, her ass is breaking the cis record. She's doing that shit, and her team is winning right now, so she's doing a hell of a lot more than you are, Kennedy. She's putting asses in seats. That's what she's doing. Look, guys, your boy's back with another video. It's been a minute since I dropped one of these mugs, man. I know y'all miss me. Did y'all miss me dropping videos? Because if y'all did, I've been doing some lives. So I've been working with times, right, tinkering with them to see when I can start doing them. And for the most part, it seems like around 6 o'clock, 6, 6, 7 o'clock, as, as well as after games, post games. So I'm going to try to get them to y'all when I ain't got nothing to do that night because sometimes I got night work to do. Sorry, guys, it happens. But I'm, I'm working my, my way out of all that. Anyway, your boy's back with a video. I hope y'all appreciate this. And if you are not a part of the Chocolatey crew, I do not know what's wrong with you. You need to hit that subscribe button. It's free. It is free to hit that subscribe button. If you ain't hit it yet, you got a problem. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to find you. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hit that subscribe button to become a part of the Chocolatey crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when you are dropping.
videos like this one and live streams that y'all probably been missing. I've been dropping live streams. They up on the channel. Go check them out for you, boy. And I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me and all the support that y'all been giving, man. This live. We got to get this, 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 uh, this, uh, uh what I said? Um, what you call it? When you give people stuff. Giveaway. <laughs> I had a brain for it. Giveaway. I got to get my giveaway going. Somebody said, said I should give out a Caitlin Clark jersey. So I think I am if I can find one. I can't even find one for my damn self. But I got to get y'all one. Crazy. But I'm going to figure out something for y'all guys. Look, we on our way to 2K. We on our way to 2K, guys. Will y'all be there when I hit 2K? Will y'all be there when I hit 2K? Because we're going to go crazy. We're going to go crazy. It's going to be a dance party. Y'all already know what it is. Dance party. If y'all ain't been in none of these lives, I get dance parties. I ain't going to give y'all no more. I ain't going to give y'all no more. Look, you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for being here, rocking with your boy. You could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here with me. Appreciate y'all. And I love y'all so much, man. Y'all know what it is. Peace. We back. Got a video out there for y'all boys. Be on the lookout for the next live, too. And be on the lookout for the next live video gameplay, too. I got to finish The Walking Dead for all my game fans out there. <laughs> all right. Now I'm off. Peace.